All right, this is, shut up, rooster. This is uh, how I mounted the Jungle Gym stand on. I guess I could also show you on my zero turn how I mounted the Jungle Gym zero turn uh, trimmer mount. Uh, but this is the trimmer holder on my, obviously I'm working with a Kubota, and they give you, it's kind of like an erector set. They give you plenty of brackets to kind of, I guess you could orient it however you want. Um, a lot of options. Uh, so first of all, up front, you mount it, depending on which side, as you can see, my control arm is on this side. So it'd be my right. And this leg, even though it, it comes out at an angle, which makes it kind of nice because you can get it further away from the, from the mower, um, the problem was getting that side mounted further out. And I have my lever to lower my deck, and I just wanted to stay away from that side. So I went over to this side, of course this side, the, the uh, front wheel mount is more straight, but I didn't drill holes. I d I'm not gonna drill holes if I don't have to. And I just used the U-bolt to put this on here. Um, it's a stainless steel U-bolt, kind of a small, I'm probably going to get a heavier duty or one at some point. I guess next time I'm at the hardware store, I'll grab something. So, so I mounted the front like that. And then the back, what I did, most mowers seem like have this plate that goes over the gas fill. So I use that like a lot of people. And I basically just bolted it straight down. And then uh, that's the mounting bracket. And then this bracket, this is the bracket that kind of, it's the shortest one and it's a U and it, it can swivel. So you loosen these bolts and this can kind of swivel back and forth and you can line it up how you want to do it. But um, you also have another bracket here. Now this bracket that I mounted has round holes. This one just has slots. So it's a little more adjustable and you could either use this bracket, the other bracket, or a combination of the two, depending on what you're trying to do. Um, it could get kind of, I guess it could get a little weird if you try to do two brackets connecting to this one, you know, but if, you, if your situation warrants it, I guess that's just what you have to do. But so it's real simple. It only took me maybe 15 minutes to mount this onto my mower. Um, works awesome. It holds it fairly good. I see, I'm, I know it's gonna tilt as I go, especially on the bumpy yards that I'm working. So, but that's all right. Uh, it's kind of something what I expect. I might try and, actually I can't tighten the front up anymore to hold that shaft any tighter. It's tight as it goes. And this is on my uh, Kubota zero turn. And it's just mounted to the roll bar which I keep down because we don't have, we don't really have hills around here. We, ha we have hills, but I mean, I'm in South Mississippi. It's nothing crazy. So, um, and I just mounted it there and that's where it goes. And when I'm cutting large properties, some of my properties are three acres, four acres. It's really nice to have that on there because no matter how many times I trim, it just seems like there's always a spot that needs touching up. And the last thing I want to do is have to walk all the way back to my trailer and get my trimmer when I'm all done and I'm ready to just blow the driveways and sidewalks and get out of there. And I have to stop what I'm doing and go back and get a trimmer and go touch up some spots. So it's nice to have these uh, racks so I can just stop my mower, jump off, trim what I need to trim real quick, jump back on and I'm mowing again. So uh, I'll, show you how I mount it. It's th this rack is pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it. So, but that's how I mounted it. It, it swivels two different directions. It can, uh, this can swivel uh, or that can swivel. So you can do it however you want to do it. Like I said, these things are pretty modular. So you can do a lot of different stuff with them. Um, feels like, I think that one needs to be tightened up a little bit. It's a little loose. So anyway, quick video, but it doesn't require a long video because they're pretty simple to put on. There's not much to them. Um, you just got to make sure they're out of the way of your controls and your 
uh, on your zero turn. Make sure they're out of the way of your gas fill and your uh, deck lever on your stand-on. That's all there is to it. All right.